Welcome to Sports Center. Sports Center. And we have here Christian, Conrad, Conrad and CJ, and myself, Naya Wilder. And today, we, want, we will talk about who we think, we will talk about the Rangers and if they have a chance at repeating. What is your view? Um, the Rangers right now sitting at 20, 29 and 31, two games under 500. Um, but they haven't had DeGrom, Scherzer. They just got Evaldi back. Um, and Josh Young has been hurt. So I feel like once they get all those guys back, um, we'll be able to make a deep run in the playoffs. What do you think? I agree with that. Um, they really had a great um, playoff run last year. And they did really good in the Super um, not the Super Bowl, the World Series last year. And I think they can do that again if they just stay healthy. I also agree, too. This team has been very injury riddled, like uh, Christian said, with no Josh Young, a big power, young power hitter, and no real good pitching talent, such as DeGrom, who's coming back from Tommy John, and then Scherzer, and we just got back of Aldi. So I feel like if our pitching can come back and mesh together, we can have a very deep run to the playoffs. So you heard it here. We think that the Rangers. the Rangers will end up winning another and making a back-to-back -back repeat. And that, and that will do it all. We'll be back on commercial break. You gotta keep, keep talking. talking. Right. How about what? Uh, uh, Celtics. The Celtics so, match. Yeah, uh, all right. <laughs> well, I think the Celtics are coming into the series looking really good, as well as the Mavs. The Mavs have defeated the really good um, Minnesota Timberwolves with the young Anthony Edwards and the young duo of Shea Gillis Alexander and Chet Holmgren. They've proven that they are a really good contender this year. And with PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford and Derek Jones Jr., they have really helped on their defensive side as well as with Luka and Kyrie on the offense, just really making things work on the offense. And on Celtics, they're just really good. They have not found an opponent that is that has met their um, level. They have pretty much swept, and they have swept or like beat a team with like one game and like the within the entire playoffs. So I think the Mavs will. I think the Mavs will give them a good run of their money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it's just going to come out to the big man in the series, Gafford and Lively. Um, so, yeah, if the big men play good defense and rebound, um, I think Luka and Kyrie can take it um, home for the Mavericks. Uh, I also agree with that. If uh, Obviously, Boston has a lot of tal talent coming into the season. First year having Porzingis and having those three bond and mesh like they did was very impressive for them. But making the Mavs making those trades midseason for P.J. Washington and Daniel Gafford and how quickly they've meshed together has just been unbelievable, and I think this is going to be a seven-game series. Lyle, what do you think? Well, I'm just, a co I'm just a host here, but you heard it. There is a lot of opinions strongly about the Mavs, and we'll see how this series goes on in the future. We are going to commercial break, though. <laughs> 